Kleinfer syndrome is caused by the premature fusion of the soft spots of the skull bones. Constriction of the brain due to these fusions can cause mental retardation, seizures, and even blindness. Bulging wide-set eyes, a beaked nose, and an underdeveloped forehead, mid-face, and upper jaw are also characteristics of this syndrome. Since this syndrome is autosomal dominant, only one mutated gene causes the syndrome. The mutation is not from anything the mother did or did not do during pregnancy. A missense mutation is what causes Pfeiffer syndrome. This is when one amino acid is changed to another. In this case, arginine is changed to phenylalanine when the GC base pair is changed to the TT base pair. This picture shows the deformity in the skull that can be noticed before birth in an ultrasound. Pfeiffer syndrome can also cause broad, deviated thumbs as can be seen in this x-ray. As you can see in this image of a CT scan, the brain is not able to grow properly, which is what causes the mental retardation in these children. This is a 3D image of an example of a type 2 individual skull with the characteristic clover leaf shape. This syndrome can also cause partial webbing between toes and fingers in this image between all toes. It is also associated with dental problems due to the underdevelopment of the upper jaw which can later lead to the need of orthodontic surgery. There are three types of Pfeiffer syndrome. Type 1 children have recessed cheekbones and finger and toe abnormalities. They typically have normal neurologic development and intellect, but they may develop hydrocephalus or water on the brain and hearing loss. Type 2 individuals have a characteristic clover leaf shaped skull because of extensive fusion of the skull bones. This causes limited brain growth and mental retardation. The bulging eyes cause vision problems. Type 3 individuals have similar abnormalities as type 2, but they do not have the clover leaf shaped skull. All three types can have clinical overlaps. Treatment of Pfeiffer syndrome often involves surgery to enlarge the eye orbits and to minimize the pressure on the brain due to the smaller area created by the fusions. This disease affects many people, even celebrities. Prince's son was born with Pfeiffer syndrome, but he died one week after birth. Meet Riddick. Like any other seven-month-old baby, he is curious about the world around him and is working on saying his first words. Riddick is no different than my other sons. He's very happy, uh, a joy to have around. Just a ball of joy, you know, as any seven-month-old could be. However, when Riddick was born, the Karaz family and their doctor noticed something. Uh, when Riddick was born, you know, not any doctor knew what it was. Um, you know, we'd never heard of anything like this. Riddick has Pfeiffer syndrome, a rare genetic disorder that affects about one in every 100,000 births. The effects of it are fusion of the, the skull, uh, lack of the mid-face, um, fusion of the feet and uh, fingers. While surgery is available, it isn't a simple process. You know, you don't want anything, rather it be my infant son or my 16-year-old son. I don't want any of my kids to go through surgery, so my heart breaks for them. Now the Karaz family is preparing to go to Dallas for Riddick's first surgery. While it won't be an easy trip, Bobby and Joey will still have an unshakable love for Riddick. We just treat him no different than any other child. You know, we went from thinking everything was such a dread to, you know, this was still our child and we we're just happy with, you know, what God gave us is, is what we were, what we we're happy with. 